now you are going if you ask me anna how can i grow every day how can i even if i grow older 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 how can i grow inside haya 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 i want to tell you our na fasting yes that's number one anna no prayer anna yes that's the number one anna no ministry anna yes the more you give the more you receive is it number one anna no holy life yes is it number one anna no anna what is the number one anna that never fails anna i want to tell you that is god's word you are building your life on the rock everybody say b i b l e b i b l e this anna i have five minutes anna i am too busy suppose i i i have only five minutes i must spend time with god what should i do should i pray should i pray in tongues yes but what's the only five minutes anna what should i do anna only five minutes means read bible and go tongues you can talk in the travel also cycling also eating time also prayer anna i am a man of prayer but i pushed it to second place word amen god's word is god amen hallelujah the bible says in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was and the word became flesh and dwelt among us ellar vaatha vai tharun solunga god's word god's word is god is god 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 is is in his word in his word his word his word is is in god in god god's word god's word god god are one are one amen even if you are tempted heavily anna temptation anna magrahana mujhe sambhal main gira even when you fall don't cry read one chapter and fall now people are very happy so anna says fall read one chapter and fall and after falling again read three chapter you know what will happen you will stop falling i can give you many examples from my own life how god rebuked me that it's not prayer it's god's word yes. that makes you stable and steady i have seen people fasted 40 days full of holy ghost balloon and one heard bus but when a man grows by bible he becomes a rock it's not the bible that's in your head that helps you the bible that stays in your heart everybody say god's word god's word 
that stays in my heart that stays in my heart will will continuously continuously produce miracle 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 produce miracle 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 god's word god's word in my heart in my heart continuously continuously works works wonders wonders amen amen not god's word in the brain god's word in the heart okay another thing anna in the whole bible what should i read more old testament yes gospels yes epistles yes book of revelation yes then what anna everything is yes <laughs> then tell me read the bible <laughs> See, imagine, my grandpa wrote a letter to many people that all the letters are in my, my parents kept it in their box. Then my father write to my mommy before marriage, after marriage. That all there. And my uncle's letters are all there in the box. And my daddy write to me letter when I was 8 year old, 6 year old, 16 years old, 20 years old. that's also there now today my father wrote a letter to me postman gave me now nowadays postman la illa na google gave me <laughs> email which one i need to pay more attention my grandpa's letter grandpa letter is needed because i learned many things from my grandpa's experience my father's letter young uh, in the young age is needed what he spoke to me 8 years that's very important but today what he say it's the urgent need meaning the whole book genesis to malachi was written to the israelites focused on israelite gospel jesus born raised rose matthew mark luke john even that was written before the church was born apostles was written to explain how the early church was but from romans up to book of revelation is written for born again spiritual believers so what is directly addressed to you for today but can i tell you one sad news yes yes sad news you go to any church what do they teach mostly you tell me so if you focus on old testament you will do miracle like elijah and when jezebel come you will run very fast like elijah <laughs> When you read more on David you will sing hundreds of song and Bathsheba bathed bath she bath You read Moses make me more like Moses Moses 40 years 120 years the 40 years he took all of them i will take you to canaan i will take you to canaan i will take you to canaan when canaan came he was canaan <laughs> they say hey he brought us where is he out there see the canaan you go i go
Matthew, Mark, John, Luke, all those things. Big multitude, big miracle, huge crowd, the last they said, crucify him. That's the effect. Because man was not born again. The new nature didn't come. The old nature was making him fall, 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 fall. Preaching came, teaching came. Even Jesus spoke the words of grace. But only on the day of Pentecost, the new man was born. But that new born by man, God wrote the word Ephesians. And he says, first word, first word, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and faithful in Christ Jesus. See, before that, no apostle. Everybody say apostles. Apostles. Prophets. Prophets. Are. Are. Foundation. Foundation. For. For. Church. Church. Born again, born again, people, people, foundation, foundation is apostles' doctrine. It's an apostle doctrine. What Acts 244 say to say? Forty two. No? And they continually continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Everybody read it louder. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship in the breaking of bread and in prayers. Who are they? Who are they? Israelites. Who are they? Okay. What did they stay continually? Everybody say continued. Continued. Steadfastly. Steadfastly. Adamantly. Adamantly. Forcefully. Forcefully. Unshakably. Unshakably. Early church. Early church. Born again church. Born again church. Pentecost church. Pentecost church. Spirit filled church. Spirit filled church. A new nature church. A new nature church. All things are gone away church. All things are gone away church. All became new church. All became new church. Continually. Continuously. Steadfastly. Steadfastly. Steadfastly means Steadfastly means Cholunga Steadfastly means Continually okay Steadfastly I don't know why you are struggling so Steadfastly Steadfastly means steadfastly. <laughs> For that you all break your heart. How simply I answer you. <laughs> now you understand. Steadfastly means this is the answer I expected from you. They didn't leave from that. Stead. Focus. No, nothing else. No, nothing else. Steadfastly, the first thing is apostles' doctrine. Second is fellowship. Third, communion. Fourth, last prayer. If you write a Bible, what will you write first? Can I tell you? School of the Holy Spirit students, if they write a Bible, they continued steadfastly in the quiet time, 
and in tongue talking and laughing in the spirit and and uh, duty garden work that three months is over everybody said the born again church the born again church how many of you know the church was born on the day of pentecost in mount sinai the church was born horeb the church was born hebrew the church was born galilee where jesus walked the church was born kapernaum the church was born on the day of pentecost power fell on me not only the holy ghost came when the holy ghost came the inner man rose again dead man resurrected now you read it in acts of the uh, ephesian there first thing how long and continue how long and continue that means even now the church first priority is to continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine apostles doctrine means apostles teach is it elijah teaching Moses teaching no. who's teaching no. how many of you will decide hereafter whether i understand or not i will teach i will stay i will get rooted in apostles teach okay romans is it apostles teaching yes. who wrote it Paul. corinthian Paul. galatians Paul. Yes? yes wow ephesian colossian philippian thessalonian timothy where will you continually steadfastly stay First Peter was he an apostle? Yes. Second Peter. Wow. First John. Wow. Wow. This you have to settle it. This is written for you about you. when i was teaching on old covenant and new covenant difference i told you old testament even matthew mark luke john because it was still under old covenant days are you are you sure yes. Yes. please understand jesus came and he finished the old covenant it is finished and he began a new covenant i told you in that message how many of you remember old testament was written to change my outward man still not to whom it has to be written who is stealing outer man or inner man last not lay not everybody say the whole old testament the whole old testament was written was written to the natural man to the natural man but but apostles doctrine apostles doctrine after the day of pentecost after the day of pentecost all the teaching all the teaching are done for my inner man for my inner man to see to see what i have what i have what kind of man i am what kind of man i am and 
to strengthen the inner man to strengthen the inner man and, and make the inner man make the inner man to take in charge to take in to charge to take control to take control and to live like jesus and to live like jesus can i tell you which one the devil will most vehemently attack you when you read leviticus when you read romans why when i say that i don't teach a doctrine old testament throw it only read new testament there are some churches even in india they say don't bring old testament to the church they say don't even read the old testament this baraka will never say it because the bible says all scripture read that word read that word timothy 316 second timothy all of you read it all scriptures is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness next word that the man of god may be complete thoroughly equipped for every good work shout man of god man of god will become complete will become complete thoroughly equipped thoroughly equipped in every good work for every good work when when he he takes takes the whole word of god the whole word of god old testament old testament gospel gospel epistles epistles revelation revelation the whole bible the whole bible read it again 16 <laughs> all scripture is given by inspiration of god how many scriptures all scripture only romans all only galatians all. every day everybody take the bible and kiss it all bible all bible is, is given given by by inspiration inspiration of god of god actually the inspiration of god ke right word the whole bible is god breathed everybody the entire bible the entire bible is god's breath is god's breath god's oxygen god's oxygen every phase every phase god breathe who god breathe god breathe amen yo so you should be a lover of god's word will you do that yes even on that day you know i was telling to sudaka i am getting older if god gives me again the youthfulness i will read bible thousand times more than before many times i regret i became old i could have read much more time spend time with the bible that's my cry even now because of ministry because of responsibilities i was hurt by people i was rejected many things i went through all these things were really taken my time in spite of it i could sit with the word and bring the revelation if i am not distracted with sorrows hurts dealing with people's problem correcting i oh, what a waste of time if god gives me another life i will say no not for this not for this no dispute no correction i i and my bible thank you jesus 
thank god you are young amen at least the remaining years be a man of the bible amen when everybody must say that person ah papa papa pa odambu damba only flesh insight full of god's word when that is your testimony i promise you you will not fall and again i say you cannot fall even if you want to fall you cannot fall storms may come winds may blow temptations may come beautiful girls women may draw your attention sickness may come rejection may come you will not be shaken because your life is built on god's word did you catch that yes. you need not write to us anna pray i am sliding mujhe sambhal main gira no no gira because you are built on the rock without the rock without word even your prayer is like a sand how many of you understand bible god's breath listen how you become a christian by god's breath yes yes sir no yes how you are born again how you are born how you received god's life inside how did you receive christ let me ask you went to a meeting and one preacher came and he called you and he said you are born again huh? tell me are you attended benihin meeting he said fool you are born again huh? how did you born again when you heard word the word carries god's breath when the word entered the breath of god entered like adam and eve god breathe adam now god don't need to breathe you every time his whole breath is in the bible is it first peter 122 23 john 663 Ah, first Peter 1:22. Ah. Since you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit in sincere love of the brethren, love one another fervently with a pure heart. Everybody say you have you have you will or you have you have you have or you will you have read it you have you have purified purified your soul your souls did alexander taught you about soul spirit body yes. 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 where all the sinful emotions come soul. where soul tie come soul. where sadness come soul. where worries come soul. that soul was purified obeying the truth by obeying the truth you heard it alexander has taught you so much that's one of his more
powerful pure uh, powerful truth that he brings to the body of christ did you hear that yes how to change your mind yes. renew your mind yes. by obeying the truth yes. how can you obey the truth once when you don't know the truth and the truth through the spirit holy ghost and the truth together make you your soul washed and purified actually when you received christ your soul was completely purified now every time when the dirt comes by the same god's truth you have to clean it up when you received christ you took bath after taking bath you went and your leg became dirty another word washing next word have having been born again not of corruptible seed but incorruptible through the word of god which lives and abides forever everybody say having having been be born again born again meaning you will get born again or already born again already born again how did you get born again by a seed how you were born by the seed of seed of god father everybody say i came into the world i came into the world i was born i was born as a boy yes a boy as a person yes a person in this world in this world because because of my father's seed because of my father's seed that seed that seed is corrupt corruptible seed is corruptible seed perishing seed perishing seed how many of you believe that one day you will go to hell heaven or uh, one day you will go your body will be buried yeah that life is finished yes but how you are born again by the seed of god that life never finish read it having been born again read it having been Be having been born uh, again uh, not of corruptible seed uh, but incorruptible incorruptible seed everybody say incorruptible seed say incorruptible seed what is that seed word word through of god the, through the word of god ah uh, which lives and abides for ever everybody say the word of god the word of god is god seed in me is god seed in me i had my earthly father seed i have my earthly father seed day by day day by day this seed will perish this seed will perish but when i got born again but when i got born again i heard i heard the heavenly father seed the heavenly father seed that never die that never die that word in me that word in me that life in me that life in me lives lives forever forever amen so as you are born again by god's word you grow in the born again life by god's word yes amen why do i say it so much to prepare your heart to create hunger and desire to know the bible and especially the word of god the portion of god's word that is written for born again believers meaning for the church so what will you read more word which word will be priority Huh? and if you want your church to grow in character grow in christ likeness you must teach the epistles and another thing the epistles torch light focus is on your inner man 
so what paul will say like a nice camera man will he talk about your outer man first or inner man first tell me so where the camera people will take the bright people or the sleeping people you know what paul says in his epistle all his letters epistles means letters can be divided into two portion first he will write hey do you know who you are you are not a failure you are a success you are not a dirty person you are a holy person you are not a pauper you are a richest man that he will talk 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 one chapter two chapter three chapter then you are a rich man go to the five star hotel and eat dosa don't go to the arak shop and there is a dosa shop come out hey you are a born again person born in god's family god's dna god gene inside don't go and eat the toilet don't eat the grass you are not a cow or monkey or donkey you are a new creation all paul's letter he will not say walk in the light he will say first you are the light you are a son of light so walk in the light you know what will happen when you know who you are faith will rise up when faith arrive faith is the victory you know why you fall you know why i fall we focus on the outer man for you the inner man lives like a small man for your eyes the outer man lives like a champion actually the real champion is the inner man did you understand please tell me so what will be your number one priority and don't jump from fourth chapter of ephesians many pastors will take the epistle they will take from ephesians you know what they will say hey walk in the light ah uh. walk worthy of your calling if you don't walk in your calling god will pluck your eyes <laughs> two mistakes they do god will pluck your eyes old testament walk in the light they skipped three chapter and jumped into the fourth chapter what happened people say yes pastor i will walk like a light pastor i should not my eyes should not be plucked pastor surrender your life yes father yeshu mera arpan karu sab kuch mera arpan kar krishan kar please karu please man me mere god bana god bana so what happened today ha oh, make me your temple lord make me your temple lord and our pastors will say seven points to become the temple of god <laughs> imagine imagine i call you tambi 
If you follow the seven step, you will become a man. <laughs> to become a human, follow ten point. Hey, you are already a human. <laughs> How many of you understand? It is the deficiency of the teaching that produced. a weak anemic church everybody say why the church is anemic why the church is anemic anemic you know without the blood ha huh? hemoglobin illa illa say why the church is anemic why the church is anemic why the church is weak why the church is weak why the church falls why the church falls because because of of not giving them not giving them the real food the real food no mother's milk no mother's milk now who is responsible for the weakness of the church you tell me believers are the preachers let me ask you will you be a man like paul yes 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 the most important thing the foundation should be every epistle read first few chapters that talks about new man new creation what you have who you are Thoroughly observe it. Then you will follow how to walk in love, how to walk in purity, how to walk in glory. How many of you understand? In these three months, we focused more on renewing the mind, on the Holy Spirit work in your life. on the new kind of lifestyle Christ in you the hope of glory God gene in you laughing of the holy ghost power which was our focus in the three months did we focus on inner man or more on outer man when you focus on inner man your inner man grows high amen so how many of you will surrender now anna can i tell you easy teaching is to teach from old testament stories and lot easy is to preach gospels and acts of the apostle but hardest job is to go to paul's letter and to explain because lazy people cannot understand the epistles even peter says i could not understand paul's letters You know that scripture? Yes. What he said? Second Peter last chapter. And consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation as also our beloved brother Paul according to the wisdom given to him has written to you. Everybody as- say beloved brother paul beloved brother paul was given was given the wisdom the wisdom from above from above that he wrote that he wrote it's not paul's letter this is it's not paul's god's letter it's wisdom it's god's wisdom to walk as a new creation to walk as a new creation do you know tambi there was a time everybody said let us go back to jesus not to paul You know that there are some teaching Paul's letter are not important 
now god is raising a new generation of preachers amen who love the entire word of god amen but focus their attention on epistles are you listening are you understanding what I'm very difficult them i tell you for me easy preaching is to preach from gospel but even to take you up of efficient see the whole time i didn't open ezekiel you know why i am lazy or you are lazy i have to put so much foundations otherwise now you will read it with me and go and say ah why the bahut mushkil hai very difficult better go to old testament david story read david story your story also will become david story <laughs> i'm not saying don't read it all scripture our god's inspiration breath it's needed for instruction correction righteous teaching the whole bible but to build up you are new creation man you immediately need the epistles you need it next word and as also in all his epistles everybody underline all his epistles all his epistles his epistles paul's epistles are important lift up your hand and say father forgive me father forgive me i didn't i didn't go deep go deep into paul's epistles into paul's epistles forgive me forgive me i break i break every laziness every laziness of my mind and of body my, of my mind and body demonic forces demonic forces that stops me that stops me from entering into paul's revelation from entering into paul's revelation we broke it we broke it let a new generation rise up let a new generation rise up i love paul's epistles i love paul's epistles they made they they meditated they get the revelation they get the revelation and they build up the inner man and them let them build up the inner man and teach and teach to the whole church to the whole church from the epistles of paul from the epistles of paul read it all his epistles also in all his epistles uh. speaking in them of these things uh. in which are some things hard to understand everybody say paul's messages paul's messages are very easy to understand <laughs> what you are contradicting me you say i am wrong which are something very easy to understand sollunga see banana eating is very easy coconut you will lose your tooth hard to break when you break the living water comes a nice coconut comes do you know all pressure and even then there are some cover how god packed it then you take everything what to do paul say epistles are coconut so many people say appa you break and give me alexanna three months i ate it anna any anna fanna hey have you a coconut in your house ah it takes time it takes your effort always remember nothing comes without effort to study b a you have to work to study doctor mbp you have to work more nothing comes easy why only god's word anna 
touch me or not i am tempted or not unlimited temptation go hallelujah i am free ma kati sata so seeing your weakness some of the men of god come to me new anointing come new anointing what's up line line bam 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 all fall then get up then they say i will never fall you will fall in good news you need to give energy effort ayo some people look me very sad anna i thought very easy anna receive anointing andagagasam abu kagasam who i am not attacking anybody but it's not just i impart i impart i impart hey in part now i want to give you the second and anointing come impart ama aasa dosa appala vada it took 50 years plus to build up my inner man you come who this is called aasa dosa appalam vada it looks like i am joking i am shaking everything hallelujah to have a muscle when everybody sleep you do exercise to develop your brain how many schools you went how many books you read how many hours you sit with a computer to build up your inner man you think it just a magic no and now what should i do anna do nothing get into epistles bible full read hours 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 listen take fasting just to read the bible you know how many days in my younger days just to read the bible i was fasting and now why are you fasting romans fasting people will think maybe anna wants to go to roma roma buri that's why fasting Why are you fasting Anna? Matthew fasting. Matthew is your brother Anna. Yes, sir, fasting. Ama, aunt, daughter. Fast weekly once. For one read the whole Bible. I promise you. your nature will begin to change what you struggled for years to overcome will just easily come when you read and meditate the word when that takes much time from you calls will come phone call come and preach come and preach come and preach you will say who gave you my address God will give you a right. Hallelujah. 
how simply i say that term. i say anyhow you are working anyhow you are wasting your energy anyhow you are running running why not you waste your energy in the only one thing getting deeper into god's word see how many years jack fruit mango fruit how many years it takes to go deeper 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 i planted jack fruit tree yesterday and i prayed and poured the anointing oil next today jack fruit tree grew and jack fruits are full yes it's true in your dream <laughs> so, <laughs> some people think acha hoga aisa ho jayega to kitna acha hoga three months school gaya pura badal gaya jack fruit grow high <laughs> tambe i also lived so many years if you give me any other secret to grow fast tell me i will write the whole pundi garden to you i'm not saying fight with sin i'm not saying work hard i said take more time and read bible is it a very difficult thing only one life only one book only one job life changes you know this book of ephesians sometimes when i want to read it I read it read it read it how many times and not 10 times 20 times today tomorrow neither day another day another and you don't get bored lagta bored lagta hai lekin main nahi rukta hai I read this translation some scriptures I don't understand don't tell anybody as I can don't understand people think as they can knows every word don't stop that their hope even today when i read ephesians bypass ho raha hai alex i am afraid tomorrow when i come boys will go this fellow doesn't understand he comes to teach us so i read another translation then i need another translation then i check what the what the word meaning love the word amen just imagine you have a before marriage that girl wrote to you how did you read that letter <laughs> somebody said not before anna before marriage anna now only i am writing anna you know what you know what you will not go at the last yours lovingly close it next day i will read it you will read it again and again again and again from first to last from last to first tambi is it very difficult are you taking christian life seriously yes. Yes. show your hand are you taking the school seriously yes. are you taking your ministry seriously yes. are you serious about living in victory yes. are you serious about living to be a blessing to the world yes. 
Are you serious? Yes. Take God's word very serious. Yes. Never lose this quiet time habit till you die. If you spend time here with a word, you don't need to spend money for the hospital. If you read much time with the word, you don't need to waste your time and destroy your family. This is life. If you spend more time with the word, you don't need to run behind the believers. Come, come to my church. Come to my church. No need. Go to the word. They will run. If you love the word, you don't need to try to please everybody. You cannot please everybody. Any day, go to the word. They all will be happy about you. This one mantra, this one secret, going into the word, study, analyzing. I never wanted to teach you. I wanted to come and start Ephesians. But still I feel after three months, still God is emphasizing, let them spend the best time with my word. Amen. And whatever you do shall prosper. Amen. How many things will prosper? Whatever you do. How many things will prosper? Whatever we do shall prosper. If you love the word, if you go to the word, if you spend hours, if you fast for the word, if you eat the word, everything you do will prosper. I have seen in my younger days, God taught me that if I didn't study the Bible in the morning, if I go, get ready and go to the bus, to catch the bus, bus will break down. God trained me like that. Sometimes my visitors come, guests come. I'm very friendly guy. Without my quiet time, without my Bible, I will take them to the bus stand, bus stop. I will wait and wait and wait. Seven o'clock, bus will not come. Seven thirty, eight, eight thirty. Then I will tell my guest, when I go, you will get the bus. Honestly, honestly. When I go to that room, the moment I go there, bus will come. Even the bus knows this fellow came without reading Bible. That's how the Lord trained me in my younger days. He trained me. I have seen it. When I was a student, I had some little, little decision. Always the little decision will make you great. Amen. I decided one day, Sabbath day, Sunday is only for God. S-U-N, Sunday, is for S-O-N, Sunday, Son of God. So get up, read the Bible, go to the church, come back. College days. Till the night light, I used to read only Bible. Teenager. The greatest thing is, I was writing MCOM exam. I didn't read well. Because all my life ministry, village, preaching, praying, per day in my college days, almost I used to pray three to four hours. Then college time. When is the time to read? Exam time, all our boys will sit and read. That's the difference between boys' college and the girls' college. Girls' college will read from the day one, the whole year. 
boys will run everywhere play everywhere exam time night and day ex whole night day the whole night the light will be there but pavam these girls read the whole year and these boys read some nights and the day in the exam they will get marks actually i used to read only exam time and the mcom exam came next day hardest subject previous day sunday i don't know what to do all are reading 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 heavy temptation for me and people gave some important questions to read now my question important question or important decision i made i tell you for the glory of god all are reading i took my bible i went outside the problem is everybody is mocking at me hey today is a bible reading time my roommates so i took it outside and i went and i read bible under a tree, tree till 6 7 o'clock so i said prayed in tongues in the morning you know i said down holy spirit it's not i abu me i started writing tambe i am writing 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 and page almost everybody lives in half an hour 45 minutes one hour i don't know what happened i write if you ask me what i write i write in english <laughs> that's the only thing i know i stand up teacher extra paper white paper exam la getting paper is like a proud <laughs> i see this side and that side people are leaving i just wrote 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 when the mark comes i got a very good mark after i came out of exam only they told me many questions are out of portion la they asked <laughs> who ever attempted were given full marks <laughs> don't tell this to anywhere I think I am I am opening I trust you so much I open my secret <laughs> I can give you millions of examples whenever I read bible things move easily whenever I don't read bible even small things becomes hardest for me the bible is true yes yes he that meditates my word day and night he shall be like a green plant never wither whatever he does shall prosper i don't say try to change i say try to love the bible the great test help the holy spirit will do for you is to create your desire for god's word and make you to read night and day
Sudaka is teaching the Holy Spirit. I know she reads much Bible and she never misses her quiet time. You ask her husband. In all her life, if she has missed quiet time, maybe you can count one or two, few days. Very strange. Because she teaches on Holy Spirit, she loves the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's first work is to open up yourself for God's word. <laughs> Holy Ghost will build your life. The material he uses is God's word. When you don't give him a material, and if you say Pavitra Atma, ah, he will say, Kyo Ana Hai. <laughs> Pavitra Atma, ah. Pavitra Atma say, Kyo Bola Re. <laughs> Pavitra Atma comes with the sword in his hand. The sword is God's word. If the enemy has put his seeds in your mind, anything, sickness, disease, everything. Even I know. I told my wife. I told my wife. Ten days leave me alone with my Bible. I will break every sickness over me. Here you know so much. I read Bible but not more healing. Another secret is if you, if you read more healing healing will come and hug you. Amen. If you want to see angels don't close your eyes in the dark room. <laughs> angels Lord. Angels Lord. Angels Lord. Angels Lord. Chata raba tada tada tada. Angels will say, I am not attracted by you. Come angel. Eh, I am not attracted. You are not attractive to me. Why? Because you are not attracted by me. One man of God says, what you are attracted to will be attracted, will attracted towards you. So he says, if you want to see angels, read the whole book on the angels. Read Zachariah, full of angels. Ezekiel, how the angels came. Read, read, read. The angels will say, hey, he is fallen in love with us, Lord. Hey, that's why he's always reading. Get my wife's book on the angels. Read it. Read, 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 read. Don't pray, pray, pray. And when you sleep, night, 12 o'clock, somebody will touch you. Who is that? I am Gabriel. If you want to see Jesus, read Bible. Whoever saw Jesus, Read, 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 read. Revelation, how is Jesus? Old Testament, one day he will smile because you were attracted by me. I am attracted by you. If you want to walk as a new creation man, get into the epistles. Read it, teach it. Nature, Godly nature, God's power, God's glory will begin to flow through you. Sirf tere liye, Yish tere liye, Sirf tere liye, Yish tere liye, Sirf tere
ले जाओ मुझे ले जाओ ईश्व के वचन के वचनों में पवी ओके ओके यू सिंग इन यू हाई पिच ियस बुक in our lifetime in our lifetime till i come to you till i come to you i want to spend more time i want to spend more time with your word with your word than anything else than anything else forgive the wasted years forgive the wasted years the reason for all my failure the reason for all my failure the reason for all my temptation the reason for all my temptation the reason for all my weakness the reason for all my weakness I I found out. I found out. It's the lack of revelation. It's the lack of revelation from the word. From the word. Because. Because. I didn't give the Bible. I didn't give the Bible as my number one priority. Yes, the number one priority. I give my life. I give my life to you. To you. And to your word. And to your word. From today. From today. Open my eyes. Open my eyes. To understand the scripture. To understand the scripture. Not head knowledge. Not head knowledge. But inner eyes. But inner eyes. Must understand your truth. Must understand your truth. Your word should burn in my heart. The word should burn in my heart. I surrender. I surrender my life. I surrender my life to the word of God. To the word of God. I give you all the glory. I give you all the glory. In Jesus precious name. In Jesus precious name. Amen. Bible is fire wood. Holy Spirit is the fire. So read it pray read pray read pray Paul an apostle mean lord thank you i am your apostle i am your prophet saints in ephesus when you read it saints in ephesus lord my situation is like ephesus i am in that nation but i am a saint saint means you set me apart you separated me thank you lord in this dirty world 
you separated me thank you lord like that you have to read you have blessed me lord you have already blessed me lord thank you lord when you learn to pray bible you go by rocket speed in the christian life otherwise you are trying to go to america sitting on your donkey that's how you have to read the bible i don't research bible i pray the bible when i pray the bible word it becomes alive in me that's why all my life i preach without notes i can preach any hours it's not i memorize i chew it inside that's the secret of baraka prophetic ministry you had you had you had too many experiences here you got healing you had the curse breaking you were rolling you are laughing you are kicking you are dancing you were jumping you cried you had quiet time but when you go home the only thing that will keep you steady is god's word i never imagine i will talk to you today what i taught it's god it's like take it as prophecy to you the real prophecy is god's word going going into your immediate need so god spoke to you just get into it it's not if you eat today tomorrow you will join a running race you all came in the icu ward god built you up the more you eat the more you eat the word the more the inner strength increases amen turn i open one bible i go acts 17 10 na parana alex acts 17 10 read it the brethren then the brethren immediately sent paul and silas away by night to berea when they arrived they went into the synagogue of the jews these were more fair minded than those in thessalonica everybody say berea berea people people were were more fair minded more fair minded more holy people more holy people more noble people more noble people more character people more character people than than those in thessalonica those those than those in thessalonica how many of you want to be higher than any other church today amen you want to go higher yes only when you go higher you can lift up the church amen you can lift up people so paul the bible is comparing thessalonica very powerful church you read thessalonian they are so super church in those days they walk in love they walk in faith they were waiting for second coming that's not a low grade but the beraya eh? they received the word gladly the salonians are the one of the best church that's why god is comparing you understand mean the they are more than the best church fair minded the literal meaning is noble they are noble people 
they were more fair minded than those in Thessalonica read it in that they in that you know why why they were higher than other nobler than other purer than other healthier than other they received the word with all readiness ah everybody said they received they received the word of god the word of god with all readiness with all readiness with all happiness all happiness imagine you go home and we write to you a letter esekarna anni alaksana sudaka will visit your house how will you be willing to receive us Will you be happy? Are you? Some face looks so dark. Are you? you? Four people coming into my house. Dar lagta hai. They, with all readiness, happiness, willingness, the word of God, receive. They received the word of God, word of God. all readiness and search the scripture ah saint wow blessed with every blessing i i i was crying for blessing yes already blessed me wow i am blessed in the heavenly hey only my body is in india my spirit is in the heaven wow search search the scripture 3 months in a year shout it daily daily to find out whether these things were so meaning paul was teaching they took the teaching and they went to the scripture ha ah, hey what anna say is here akka says is here they were searching it's not taking notes and closing and after fourth day running search do you understand yes did you understand yes you can be nobler yes. you can be more purer than today You can be the best of all best. Yes. Your church can be the best of all. Yes. Your ministry can be the best of the world. Yes. What's the seek in that? They receive the word with the all word, readiness. With all readiness and search the scriptures. And search the scriptures daily. Daily to find out to find out these things were so. Whether these things Bless you. 